Minutes. Mr. Speaker, last week the Washington Post ran a story titled Defense Firm That Employed Drunk High Contractors in Afghanistan May Have Wasted $135 Million in Taxpayers' Dollars. By Kobe Itzewit, Kobe writes, and I quote, the defense contractor investigated in 2012 after cell phone videos surfaced of its employees drunk and high on drugs in Afghanistan may have misused almost $135 million of taxpayers' money at the audit finds. The Hill further reported that, and I quote, the company also did not comply with federal procurement law the audit also found. Mr. Speaker, I've been coming down to this floor for weeks to highlight the waste, fraud, and abuse in Afghanistan, which John Sopko, the Special Inspector General for Afghan Reconstruction, has reported is worse now than ever. The National Defense Authorization Act the House passed last week authorized $42 billion for Afghanistan, which one of the reasons I did not vote for the bill. Why do we continue to spend billions of American taxpayers' dollars in Afghanistan when infrastructure all over the United States is rapidly deteriorating? This past weekend, CBS 60 Minutes ran a segment on America's failing infrastructure and reported that 70,000 bridges in the United States have been deemed structurally deficient, according to the federal government. That's one bridge out of every nine. My constituents in eastern North Carolina continually experience frustration and concern over the Bonner Bridge, which has fallen apart. This further highlights the waste and the failed policy in Afghanistan. I know some of my members of Congress will be upset. I'm calling attention to the reckless spending in Afghanistan, the NDAA authorized. But then why doesn't Congress stop sending billions of dollars to a failed state where young American men and women are being wounded and killed. Mr. Speaker, including the father of these two little girls who are on a poster beside me. Their name is Eden and Stephanie Baldiff. Their daddy, Sergeant Kevin Baldiff, was shot and killed in Afghanistan two years ago by the Afghan he was training. Oh, Mr. Speaker, it just gets worse and worse. Those wasted billions of dollars should be allocated to fix American bridges and roads from falling apart and endangering American citizens. It's the right thing to do. Mr. Speaker, let me remind the American people that last year, the Obama administration signed a 10-year bilateral security agreement uh, that Afghanistan, for 10 more years, strapping us with 10 more years of waste, fraud, and abuse, 10 more years of billions of dollars being wasted, 10 more years of young Americans being killed and wounded while the infrastructure in America is collapsing, 10 more years of veterans worrying about their benefits. So many needs here in America, so many needs that are not being met because we're wasting money overseas in Afghanistan. Mr. Speaker, Congress should debate and vote to stop the madness in Afghanistan in behalf of our soldiers and our men and women in uniform, their families, and the taxpayers of America. Mr. Speaker, it has been said many times that Afghanistan is a graveyard of empires. I hope there is a headstone for America because that is where we are heading, to the graveyard in Afghanistan, and I yield back the balance of my time.